Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here, and I'm always grateful to be spending this time with you, a few minutes in your morning, maybe on your lunch break, or as you're winding down your day, as we get to dive into God's word, even in uh, some bite-sized nuggets here to, to process through that. And and today our psalm in uh, Psalm 132 takes us to maybe a little convicting place as uh, it really drives us to ask the question, what are the priorities of our heart and what level of commitment do we have to following Jesus and serving him? Because in Psalm 132, it spends uh, basically the entire psalm reflecting on the, the past actions of David to prepare for a temple for the Lord. Uh, read the first five verses here, and it says, Remember, O Lord, in David's favor all the hardships he endured, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob, I will not enter my house or go into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. See, David was so committed to preparing for a temple to be built, for, for them to have a consistent place of worship, for them to, to have a place that they believe was a dwelling place of the Lord there with them where they could uh, approach him and worship him. And, uh, and thankfully, because of Jesus and because of what God has done in the, the, the seasons following Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we now know that the, the Lord dwells within each one of us as followers of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. But I, but I appreciate the psalm and how it reflected back on that season of them following God and serving him, and especially how David modeled commitment there. Because it, it reflects back on, on the hardships that David endured to, to prepare and lay the groundwork for a temple to be formed, the commitment, the suffering he was willing to take on, the sacrifice, the, the devotion that he expressed. And as I read that, I, I wondered if, if you and I have that same level of commitment to the Lord. If we're willing to sacrifice in order to serve and worship Jesus, if we're willing to sacrifice our finances or our comfort to serve him, if we're really willing to sacrifice our time, our energy, our priorities, the things that, that are in our life, or if we're just worshiping God with the leftovers or the convenience areas of our life. And really, this isn't a question that anyone can answer for you. This is only a question that we can answer inwardly of, are we willing to sacrifice to worship and serve Jesus? Because it's far too easy to apply an American paradigm to following Jesus and think, well, I'm following Jesus for what I can get out of it and how he will make my life better and how he'll make me more successful and add to my resources. But really, we've got that inverted. We need to be looking at what do I have in my life to serve the kingdom of God, to help grow the, the kingdom of God and, and spreading the good news of Jesus and helping people find him. And how can I serve with what God has given me to make a difference in this world? Not what can I get out, but what can I give of myself? And so today I want to encourage you to process that. Are you serving and following Jesus out of the convenience, out of the, the excess of your life? Or are you in a place where you love and are devoted to him at the level that you're willing to worship and serve and follow him out of a place of sacrifice. And, and there's so many different categories of that. It's of our time. It's of our energy, our emotional uh, bandwidth. It's out of our finances. It's out of our, our talents and abilities and what we can do to serve. But are you serving him at a level of sacrifice or a level of convenience? Because the Lord deserves our our devotion at the level of sacrifice. He is holy and just. He has done abundantly for us. He's not loved us at a level of convenience, but he's loved us at a level of sacrifice of his own son, Jesus. And so in response, our response to that level of commitment and love should be one of sacrifice and devotion. So today, ask yourself the question, am I following Jesus out of convenience? Or am I following him at a level of devotion and sacrifice? I hope that the answer will be the latter. And if it isn't, that God would guide you to make changes in your life to make that to be true today. We'll see you next time, Calvary. Have a good one.